the Soundcore Mini 3F speaker that I've owned for over a year and it's under $50? Yes, please. Too bad, it's almost perfect. Well, hey music lovers, it's Brian from Accessify and on this channel, we do unboxing, reviews, and much more of accessories for your tech. So if any of that interests you, you know what to do. Today is all about the Soundcore Mini 3, a speaker only coming in with a size of 3.25 inches tall, 2.8 inches wide, with a weight of only 221 grams, and even comes in four cool colors. Now, looking at the outside here, as you can tell, the Mini 3 has a cylindrical shape, which means it's gonna be great for putting this in a cup holder of your car, or even that water bottle pocket for your bag. Now, the speaker's construction is mainly just made out of plastic from the top grill and the body, but where your buttons are actually located is more of a harder rubber surface with a rubber anti-slip bottom to prevent the speaker, you know, walking by itself when in full volume. Just be careful here on the bottom because uh, this area loves to be a dust magnet. So as whatever surface you're putting it on, whether it's directly on sand or dirt or someplace dusty, I don't know, this area will get messy quick. Now on the side of the Mini 3, you're gonna see the nice fabric loop that's attached internally to the Mini 3. And this guy seems pretty strong, so you should have no issues with hanging this on places and not having this break or anything. And it's... We have five buttons here on the Mini 3, starting off with the power button, the plus and minus buttons for on-device volume control, the sound core button, which basically just lets you play, pause, skip, and reverse their tracks, and the Bluetooth button, so that way you could pair it to your devices, but to also set up the really cool feature called Party Cast Mode, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Now behind the Mini 3, you're gonna find a little rubber flap that's hiding the USB-C port to charge. Now don't quote me here, but from what I understand, this thing only takes in five watts max, so make sure you charge this guy before you plan on using it, if that's possible. Alrighty, that's all for the outside, but what's going on in the inside? What is this little boy packing? Well, at the top, we have a six watt speaker that's gonna be making those jam sessions so good, but don't let this small little speaker fool you because with the built-in down firing subwoofer, you can get some great audio quality coming out of this. Here's just a quick sound test using my microphone that I use to record these videos. But hey, there's times in life where we forget to turn things off and I'm happy to say that the Mini 3 actually has a built-in power off functionality so you don't have to worry about accidentally leaving the speaker on if you wander away or stop playing music. Now what's really cool is that it's actually fully customizable in the Soundcore app. So you can have this thing, I think, go up to like an hour or like 15 minutes or five minutes, whatever it may be, depending on what you like. However, apparently if you do plug this guy in, it actually disables the auto off feature. So if you need a speaker that's on 24 seven, you have that ability here. But if you don't want it to do that and you want it to turn off when it's plugged in when you're not using it, but you forget to, well, it's probably gonna be on until you turn it off. Now the Mini 3 has Bluetooth 5.0, which means not only gonna get some great range, but you actually have Bluetooth multi-point with this guy. So you can actually have up to two devices connected to this at the same time. Now I'm not gonna lie, I've been scared a couple times when I was in the shower hearing some random noises from my speaker when it turns out my wife was paired to it as the secondary device and she was watching TikTok videos. So yeah, imagine just hearing some wacky stuff while you're in the shower, it is... It's not cool. <laughs> so let's talk about the feature of the party cast tech that's in this guy. Apparently Soundcore is claiming you can pair over a hundred speakers with the Soundcore technology. So that way you can have multiple speakers in a big chain. Now expect to get maybe get a millisecond or two of latency, but you probably won't even notice this. 
I actually have two Mini 3s and I put these guys in party cast mode here and there. And let me tell you, this stereo like sound that you can get from both of these is crazy. And while it is crazy to have that really cool sound coming from this, the instructions on how to pair these speakers together in Soundcore's documentation for these guys is awful. I don't know how it is for their other speakers, but when I've tried to figure out how to pair this speaker to my phone and then this speaker connect to this speaker to be the secondary, it was a nightmare and it took me way too long to figure out. I probably just have like a low IQ or something, but who knows? I mean, this just, it's, it's so, it's so bad. Now let's talk about the Soundcore app for this speaker. It is awesome. You have full control of not only all the settings with the Mini 3, but the biggest one is the custom EQ. So if you're a bass lover like myself, you can crank that thing all the way up. Or if you prefer to have lower no bass or mid, higher mids, higher treble, whatever, you could do that. And what's also really cool within the Soundcore app is the ability to have white noise. So maybe if you just wanna have some nice ambient white noise when you're working or sleeping or whatever, you actually have that in the Soundcore app, which is really cool. I don't know about you, but I love to be able to hear some music in the shower. Now, a big thing that I love is that this guy here has IPX7 water resistance, which means you can dunk this guy theoretically up to three feet of water for 30 minutes and you're gonna have no issues. So if you're afraid about having a speaker in the shower and potentially causing issues, do not worry here. I've actually seen a lot of people dunk these things and it's they just keep going like nothing happened. I personally didn't wanna do that, but Hey, I'll, I'll do it, you know, for, you know what, bet. Hey, it's uh, Brian from a couple days later, but uh, this is what you sound like using the built-in mics on the Mini 3, and I'm not going to lie, I think it's trash, so I probably wouldn't have your phone calls on it, but if you need to, this is what you'll sound like. All right, back to the main bit. A little secret, but not so secret, but secret, is that there's actually a pro variant of the Mini 3, which has an RGB ring light around it. Now. This version is discontinued, but you could still find them brand new at some places. So if you wanna add some bling coming from your speaker, you have that option. Now, before I talk about price with this guy, I wanna talk about the flaw that I believe is making this guy not perfect and almost perfect. And that's that IPX7 rating. Now for mo most of you, you're probably being like, oh, that's fine. Well, the X in the rating means that there's no dust resistance. And for me, I kind of see that as a downside. So if you put this in sand and dirt, whatever, I feel like over time this could mess up the integrity of the speaker. Now, could this actually happen? I, I don't know. I, I don't really, I don't want to throw a bunch of stuff in there to find out. But with other speakers in the Mini 3's price range, they have some form of dust rating, like the Sony SRX XB13, probably butchered that accidentally, but and the JBL Clip 4. But what I'm saying here is I wish that they just had something in it with this guy, but hopefully when they make a Soundcore Mini 4, this has some dust rating and maybe even some extra improved quality from that speaker, that'd be really cool. And still being under $50, that would be yes. Now at the time of recording this video, the Mini 3 costs only $41 for the black color, while the red, blue, and gray cost a little extra at around $45. So yeah, overall with this speaker costing as low as $41 with all the features it has, even missing out on that dust resistance, I still think this is an amazing speaker and you should grab one for yourself. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link down in the video description. But I don't know about you, but I believe a speaker should be one of the five accessories that you need. And if you're probably wondering what the other four are, you should go check out this video that I just popped up on the screen. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go have a jam session. Deuces.